How to choose an oscilloscope wisely. An oscilloscope has three key specs. Bandwidth, sampling rate, and memory depth. Let's start with bandwidth. Here's our original signal, and here's the oscilloscope's sampling chip. Between them are the probe and internal circuits, which act like a low-pass filter. As the signal passes through, attenuation happens. The higher the frequency, the stronger the loss. Bandwidth is defined as the frequency, where the signal amplitude drops to 0.707 times of its original value. So, if you measure a 100 MHz signal with a 100 MHz oscilloscope, you'll only get 0.707 volt. To measure accurately, the oscilloscope's bandwidth should be at least five times higher than your signal. Next, sampling rate, original signal recording oscilloscope. The oscilloscope records your signal point by point. The more points it takes, the smoother the waveform looks. A sampling rate on oscilloscope means it samples 500 million points per second. According to Nyquist's sampling theorem, the sampling rate should be 2.56 to 4 times the bandwidth, or roughly 10 times the original signal frequency. Finally, memory depth. All sampled points are stored in memory. Before being displayed, the memory storage capacity is limited. If sampling rate is high, but memory is small, it can only record a very short time. When we need a longer time, we can only reduce the sampling rate. If you want to capture long waveforms, make sure your oscilloscope has enough memory depth. That's all. Here is the summary. 